about 40 is down to 43 percent of the House and 47 percent of the Senate does 80 of Congress. Eisenhower, around 33, started out 51 percent of the House and 50 percent of the Senate. And he got down to 35 percent of the House and 34 percent of the Senate. Kennedy had 59 percent of the House, 67 percent of the Senate. Johnson will have 58 percent of the House, 64 percent of the Senate. That was from 68 to 58. In the past 40 congressional elections since 1888, the President's party has had an average of 54 percent of the House and 55 percent of the Senate, compared to our 58 and 64. He's well above the average sport in the Senate with 64%, and above in the House with 58 In 20 of the past 40 Congresses, the President's party was below the average strength of 54 in the House. You don't know what statements they've made, though, on taxes and things like that? No. Uh, we lost, uh, of the 44 new ones, About uh, 38 of them voted with us 80% of the time. Yeah. And we re-elected 22 of them. Yeah. We lost 16 of them. Uh, the Republicans elected, in the main, they tell me, will be moderate Republicans and not extreme ones because they were trying to there, the Romney vintage, he picked up five, and Rhodes picked up five, and Iowa won't be so good, they had four. We lost in four states. We didn't, we didn't lose New York. The only one in New York was for a new seat, the O'Brien seat. But all the Resnicks and all the Hanleys and all of the Wolfies and everything else, we won. We will be won. Yeah. Yeah, Tinsley. I went to all those districts, and we had a hell of a good crowd, and they said Resnick didn't have a chance, but he won well. In a Republican district, we held those. We held them in Pennsylvania. They told me Vigorita didn't have a chance, but it did. We held everything in Illinois. They thought we'd be in a hell of a ship. We lost only one. That was a very close sister. Uh, we lost two in Texas. One is the new River Oaks district. Houston is always a Republican district. But Bush is a very progressive Republican. He's a son of the senator from Connecticut. And, and, the taking the Rogers and he is a conservative Republican. And, uh -huh. uh, but there ain't going to be much difference between him and Rob Walter. No, not much. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so we lost five in uh, Ohio and five in Michigan and four in Iowa and three in California. So that's 17, 18 right there. Most of the other places, we lost two in Virginia, two in Texas, and a few other states we lost one or two. Two in Wisconsin that we never had the right. We have no right to Iowa congressman. None to the two in Wisconsin. None to Ohio. We don't belong to have those Ohio congressmen. Now, what we've got to do, this will help you and help me in some respects. We just don't have to have these new programs and these far-reaching innovations uh, now, and it gives us a good excuse. We just say, well, we seriously consider anything that you can uh, you can show us, and you go make your poll. <laughs> Yes, it will. Yes, it will. No, I've got a list that they sent down to me, and uh, actually, uh, there's some surprises in it. Yeah, but I think on the whole, we did exceedingly well. Well, they, I, they had me scheduled. They wanted me to go to Boston and to Detroit and to California. Uh, and. Uh, to Idaho and to Oregon. And I looked at <laughs> the 12 places they want me to go, 11 of them were losers. <laughs> well, now I've been in pretty shape now. If 
I'd been out speaking myself horse sick and all those places. I wound up with every goddamn one of them like I did wind up. They had been Illinois with Douglas. And our poll showed Douglas couldn't win. McCormick couldn't win. And no way he could win. No way in the world. He couldn't rag it. He couldn't wait with a lead pencil. And then... Okay, I just wanted to talk to you, and I'll call you when I get back out of the hospital, and you get your girl and come down here and visit us. All right, now, uh, one thing I, I think just uh, would be nice if you'd do it, if you let me suggest it. We had a big shock here in our state. The loss of Jim Crumble. Yeah, sure did. Uh, if you'd call him or send him a wire or something. Somebody send him a wire, brother. Uh, yeah, I've already done it. He sure was. He's a wonderful fellow. Was it a close race? Got beat by about 10,000 votes, it looks like. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Uh, that, that was real bad. It was a Rockefeller sweep in the state. It was really a sweep. Here in Pulaski County, almost 2 to 1. Huh. And Little Rock. Huh. Here at Fort Smith and here at Hot Springs. Places like that. Fat and big, uh, big boats in Jim's district. I think the fellow's a one-term congressman, but uh, uh, Jim won't come back. No, he's sick. He's sick and his age is against him. Hey, he's a wonderful man. I'll do that, Wilbur, and thank you for thinking of it. Fine. Bye. Bye. Bye.